Hey guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go. So I'm sure if you've landed on this video, you've probably been hearing this buzzword a lot from Panasonic, and that's talking about their dual native ISO. I'm gonna try and explain it and break it down to you in a very simple way. There's three parts to it. There's the dual, native, and then ISO. We'll start with the ISO. This is the sensitivity of the image sensor in your camera. The higher the ISO number is, the more sensitive your sensor is to light. With digital sensors, when we change ISO, we're not changing the pixel size, so to speak. So instead of having larger photoreceptors, like if we were gonna change out the film stock, we're actually gonna be increasing the sensitivity electronically by adding more voltage to the sensor. The lower the ISO is, the less noise or digital gain you're gonna have in your image, and the higher the ISO is, the more gain or digital noise. The next thing to talk about is native ISO. This is the ISO setting where the camera doesn't have to do any voltage shift to the sensor, so you're gonna get the cleanest image. And because of that, this has the best signal to noise ratio. Setting your camera to the native ISO is gonna give you the cleanest possible image with the best dynamic range. All digital cameras nowadays have a native ISO, and to find one for your specific camera, you wanna go on to Google, just type in your camera, and then say native ISO. Then the last part, dual, meaning two. Having dual native ISOs means that the camera has two ISO levels that the camera can operate with optimal performance. It does this by having two circuits on the sensor. One is tuned to the lower ISO level and one is tuned to the higher ISO level. So for the Panasonic EVA-1, it has a native ISO of 800 as well as 2500. This should allow for much better performance in low light using that second native ISO. So starting at 800 and stepping up in third stops, you can see the image getting noisier and noisier. And then once we hit that 2500, the image actually clears up quite a bit. So this is just a quick little explanation of what Panasonic's talking about when they mention dual native ISO. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this dual native ISO, if you've tested it out or if you're interested in testing it out. And if you got something out of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week. And I'll see you guys in the next one.